901, Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I grow my hair in a protective style or when I have box braids to be more specific. Um, I get box braids pretty often because y'all know I'm a natural and I love my naturals and I love my natural hair, but sometimes it just gets so frustrating where I just wanna shave my head and I seriously get to the point where I actually wanna shave my head. So when I get to that point where I can't deal with my natural hair no more, I just braid it up so I don't have to deal with it. So um, I have my hair braided right now, but it's also important for me to take care of my natural hair while I, while I do have a protective style in. My phone is blowing up. <laughs> but it's always important for me to take care of my natural hair while it's in a protective style because the main point of my hair being in a protective style is so that I don't touch it and then it grows. So I've had box braids before where I didn't put too much product in it and I really left it alone and then I've had box braids before where I had like a full routine, like set routine of like products that I put in it on certain days to like make sure that my hair would grow and I take care of it and I found that when I have a set routine and I put products in my hair while I'm protective styling that my hair grows more. There are some people who say when they have box braids and they don't do anything to it, their hair is fine, it grows great. Um, but for me personally, it works better when I use um, just a few just a few products um, I only do three things nothing too crazy because the whole point of being in a protective style is for it to be simple and you don't have to do like that much stuff I try to keep my routine as simple as possible because your girl just don't got that much time I'm a student um, I work I work night shifts at my job so you know when I get home I'm tired when it comes to doing my hair I really am sometimes I don't even feel like tying it up to be honest um, sometimes I don't tie it up and I regret it in the morning. Tie up your hair at night, please. I beg of you, you will regret it in the morning, especially when you have braids. You can definitely have your braids last longer if you tie them up at night rather than just going to sleep on them. I wear my braids for about a month to a month and a half. I feel like once I hit like a month and a half, I start looking a little dusty and your girl, ain't nobody trying to look dusty. So as far as my routine, um, I do three things. Um, and here are my three things right here. So the first thing that I do is I spray my hair with water. Um, you can get a little spray bottle from Target for a dollar, from the beauty supply for a dollar, anywhere for a dollar. They're super cheap. This is a must. Like not even if you're in a protective style, if you're if you have natural hair as well, you guys would have seen me talk about my spray bottle and my natural hair routine crucial very crucial so this is the first thing i do i like to spritz my hair with water um i feel like my hair grows great with water um so i do this keep in mind i do this routine about every other day not every day maybe sometimes but definitely every other day I spritz my hair with water first with my spray bottle and then i use a leave-in conditioner so when i have my natural hair out i use more of a thicker like leave-in conditioner it's more of a cream it's as i am if you guys are familiar with that brand um but when I'm in box braids, I use this conditioner only. This is a leave-in conditioner um, by the brand Dark and Lovely. And it is the Super Quench Leave-In Spray. So it's a spritz. So the reason I like using this when I'm in a protective style is that it... Uh, I can't talk. The reason I like to use this in a protective style is because it prevents buildup. You guys know if you guys use too much heavy product in your hair, if you use too much product in your hair when your hair is braided or in faux locks, you can get a ton of buildup like where um, you can get a ton of buildup basically where your hair is connected to the synthetic hair. Um, so that's why I try to keep my products very light. So I use water and then I use a spritz leave-in conditioner. This is like crucial. It keeps my hair moisturized. When I took my box braids out last time, my hair was super soft. Like it wasn't brittle, barely had any breakage. Like I can vouch for this product. I got this at the beauty supply when I was in LA. Um, I haven't seen it in any, you know, stores such as Target or Walmart. Um, but I do know they do carry it in the beauty supply. So if you have a beauty supply near you, definitely try to cop this. Um, definitely try to get this. Um, and you might even be able to get it online. Like I said, it's from the brand Dark and Lovely. I need to get more because I have about, maybe about this much left in here. Um, and it was $10.99. I got the price. It's about $10.99. So not too expensive, but definitely worth it. Um, so then after I spritz my hair with my water and my leave-in conditioner, my last step is to insert my oils. So this is my baby. I have all my oils mixed in here. I need to create um, 
I need to mix some more in here but I will link the video to the oils that I use in my hair and what exactly is in this mixture. I have a video about the oils that I use in my hair um, and why I use those specific oils. But to give it just a little breakdown, um, there's olive oil in here, argan oil, avocado oil, um, Jamaican black castor oil, my favorite. And I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. But those are pretty much all the oils that I mix in here. And I use this last. This is my third step. Just because oils are good for sealing in and locking in any previous moisture, any previous um, products that you put in your hair. So I use my oil to seal in the water and the leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair. And you know when your hair is moisturized, your hair grows. Boom. So those are my three steps that I use to keep my hair moisturized and to grow my hair in my box braids. My first time trying this red color. I think it looks really good on my skin tone, but I think I'm going to try faux locks maybe. Because um, like I said, I'm going to Jamaica. If y'all remember me saying this in one of my previous videos, I'm going to Jamaica in August. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder what I'm going to do with my hair for that time. I don't know. Definitely can't go natural. Definitely not gonna go to Jamaica natural because I'm going snorkeling and it's probably gonna be humid out there. So I'm not gonna play because my hair is gonna try to play me. So I already know I'm not gonna do not gonna do my little high puff, but I definitely need to do something with it. Definitely wanna try faux locks maybe. But those are my three. Those are my three steps to growing my hair while I am in a protective style and keeping it moisturized. So let me know if you guys have any tips on how to grow your hair in protective styles. So follow me on my Instagram at ZariaXO. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here watching this video. Your girl needs to get a feel on her nails if y'all noticed. I know, don't look at them. But um, <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.